Let's unmute the mic first. That's probably a good start. So it's finally happening. Here it is. Zelda Wand of Gamelon. I've been meaning to play this for a long time, but I never actually had a proper controller to play it with. But now, thanks to visiting Sore Thumb in York a few days ago, finally got a proper way to play it using this really nice controller actually here for the CDI, which kind of resembles a Mega Drive controller, but with no start button in the middle, which is a bit weird. But even so, here it is. I'm playing on my actual CDI console, which is just... Can you see it? There, on the bottom there. And I've also got it on the screen in front of me so I can play it at the same time. So, fingers crossed that this all works properly. I've never tried streaming anything like this before. So hopefully you can see it, hopefully you can hear it. Let me know whether that looks and sounds okay. As okay as the CDI can be, I guess. Anyway, I'm very excited for this. Here we go, Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon. I don't know whether to be excited or terrified. So, I did play it for a little bit yesterday, but let's just go down and start a new game here. Looks and sounds good. That's good. As good as this game can look and sound, anyway. Zelda, Duke Onklet is under attack by the evil... Oh my god, here we go. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of God, I am not me. prepared for this. Don't hear from me in a month. Send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> oh boy! I'm so hungry. I, I could eat an Octorok! <laughs> My god. Seeing this for real after seeing it on YouTube so much. And still no word. I'm sure Yeah, it basically looks like it was just yeah, drawn in Microsoft get. Paint. It's no match for the king. Go to it's so weird. And find my father. Like, why do they? I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Oh my god, so many classic lines. Later still. Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. Does it feel weird not seeing this in YouTube poop? Okay. So basically, from what I understand about the game, you can visit the various different places on the map. So you can see there's all these different areas here, and you can unlock more as you go. I think you're, spot you're supposed to start in the village down there on the left, but let's just start in the first area uh, where it actually wants you to begin, and let's see what that's like. So, yeah, I did play this a little bit yesterday, and the controls were really frustrating. So to jump, you don't actually press a button, you press up. The, the other two buttons don't do anything and the first button just stabs like that you can also crouch and stab by sort of walking around sideways and yeah if I remember right these enemies don't even drop any rupees but I think the idea at least at the start of the game is to get some rupees in order to level up your sword and then I have no idea I really haven't seen anything of this game, apart from the awful cutscenes. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what the game's actually like anyway. So let's see what's in this first hut here. We have a bat and a rhino. I don't know if I'm supposed to go down there and try and kill it. But yeah, hopefully you guys are actually interested to see what the game is actually like. Oh god, instant death. Okay, I can't go down there yet. Let's go back out. It's just so surreal to play a Zelda game that was licensed by Nintendo, but they clearly had no say in what the game was actually like. Okay, that door's locked. Uh, is that everything? Oh yeah, to get to the pause menu, that's even weirder. You have to crouch and then hold down and press number two. What sense does that make? So it looks like you can get a selection of things to go on that scroll on the side there. 
And then you've got your shield and sword and how many rupees you've got as well. Yeah, as far as I can tell, button 3 doesn't actually do anything at all. So, there isn't anywhere I can go in this first screen then. Let's just kill these random pig things. And I think we need to go to the village first and find a key. So let's try and do that. I think if you stab that, that takes you back to the world map. Reminds me of old big box PC games, usually puzzle type games like King's Quest. Seems interesting so far they might require some patience. Yeah, graphically, I mean it's it's not too bad actually. I like the the drawn backgrounds. They look quite nice. Maybe people are too harsh on the game. Maybe I guess a lot of people haven't even really seen what the game's like at all. They just go off the uh, the awful cutscenes. Well, I found some rupees at least. I don't think my shield's doing much though. I'm probably going to end up dying now. I've only got a half a heart left. Hey, that's an improvement compared to other Zelda games. There's no beep 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 because I'm low on health. Let's see who's in this hut here. No one is locked. See, the, the background graphics are pretty nice actually. So I don't think I'm supposed to go that way yet. Let's, uh, let's see whether it kept my rupees. Yeah, it did actually. So I could, I could just stay here and farm these for a few more. Nice dodge under there then. But yeah, the CDI is such a weird console. It was never really made to play games. That's why it seems quite stiff. Um, I think people's expectations of a Zelda game are very different from what this game delivers. Yeah, definitely. Hey, I think I just got a new follower. Or... Yeah, my um, activity feeds back to front for some reason, so let me just scroll up to the top. Uh, thank you to Johnny Bones. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Hope you enjoy taking a look at Zelda on the CDI. I hope it's enjoyable to watch at least. So it looks like in here, this is the shop, and I've only got six rupees, and I need 20 to buy a bomb. Let's see if this guy... Oh yes, every time you talk side, to someone! But I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. Oh god. That's creepy. Why? Why does everyone, like, fly into the screen like that? Also, he said rubies, not rupees. So, I guess I can get that. Does that take me down to one? Yeah. Okay, so I've got a lantern. Whatever use that is. And... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. So there's a shortcut back to the world map. Found you through your monkey ball video. Never seen, actually, the gameplay of Wonder Game 1. Oh, fantastic. I loved making that monkey ball video. That's still one of my favourite videos. One of my favourite videos that I've made. Oh, why are there pterodactyls? So I guess I could farm here, actually. Eleven. As long as I don't end up throwing things at me. Let's see what's in this hut. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks for coming to check out the Twitch streams as well. I've only just started doing Twitch. So hopefully you enjoy. Uh, right, how do I use the lantern? Can I use it in here? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just trapped in here. I think I'm missing something. There must be some way to... Okay, apparently I found a ladder. Um, maybe that lantern wasn't for lighting the rooms up. Let's go out there. Not really sure how to gain health either. I haven't seen any hearts yet. Hey, McMank. I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Thanks for joining. I know it's been a while. I've been on holiday, so I haven't been able to stream for like a week now. But hopefully this will get me back in the flow of things. Or I'll just get eaten by a pterodactyl. This seems quite lenient though with the um, with the checkpoints. So I've got 18 rupees now, I only need like two more. 
I think I needed two more anyway. Ah, quick! Okay, let's see if I can buy the bombs now, I think. Or, or maybe I should buy an axe. Let's see what the axe does. Oh, it's not an axe. What is that? Rope? The axe is just on the wall. What was that? Yeah, ropes. Maybe... Maybe it's like an RPG where it helps you escape from the dungeon. Uh, shall I... yeah. I'll, I'll go and save up for some bombs. I presume I need bombs too. I wish I knew how to use that lantern though. I'm sure that's how you're supposed to light up that building. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Ah. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. That was close. Let's try going in here. Locked. Let's try going in this one. Okay, we can go in there. Yeah, I made it to Affiliate. I made it just before I went on holiday as well, which was good, because it would have reset, and that would mean that I'd have to do, like, another six streams. Hello, dearie. Oh, my oh God. just a minute. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust, and I'll make it a magic cloak. Okay. You don't have to get that up into my face. Did she give me something? Okay. So she gave me some sort of cloth. We're going to find some fairy dust. You know what? It's probably bad of me to say this, but I'm actually quite enjoying this so far. It's very unique. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used that already. Oh no, I can still use it. So, so pressing button number two when you've gone through the menu lets you use the items. So I'm not sure what that rope does yet, but I guess we'll figure out later. I can jump out the window too, cool. Is that going to take me somewhere else? Oh, what? Wow, that's... Okay, that's actually a really neat idea. So I'm actually on the back of the village that I was just in. That's awesome. I did not expect it to be that intricate with its, with its layout. I have a feeling that rope's going to annoy me though, because the button you press to open the doors is the same button that you press to use the rope. Okay. This last one looks like it opens. I actually managed to qualify for affiliate. Oh, congratulations! I didn't know you streamed as well. I'll, I'll go and give you a follow after this. That's great. Well done. Uh, okay, let's see whether this guy is going to zoom into my face and be all weird about it. Do you see anything? Oh, it's yes. Impa. Oh my, your father has been captured. What about Link? He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Oh no. But I already knew that, so... Maybe she's like someone you need to come back to throughout the game to get hints. Let's try going back the other way. Oh yeah, I haven't just got water tonight, because I knew this was going to be a difficult game, so I've actually brought my mead that I picked up in York as well, so a bit later on I'll crack that open, and then we can really start enjoying Wand of Gamelon together. So, yeah, let me know what you think of the game so far. Do you think it's as bad as everyone says it is? I'm actually quite enjoying it, but maybe I just haven't got to a bit that's too frustrating yet. Because I've heard this game gets really, really difficult. It seems very forgiving so far, though, because you can basically die and it restarts you pretty much exactly where you left off. So, I wonder if there's other ways where you can flip between the front and the back again, like, like jumping out that window. Hey, where did you come from? That painting looks weird. Am I supposed to pull it down or something? Oh, we've got some funky music in this room. Ah, 
Ah, die. Hopefully I can get um, like a longer sword or something to take out those airborne, airborne enemies a bit easier. Okay, you can fall through that gap there as well. You know what, I might sound insane saying this, but I think, so far at least, I was about to say so far at least, but maybe not. I'm actually having a pretty good time with it. I'm guessing there's something up there that I need to go to, so let's try and go around again. How many rupees have I got? I've got 51, so I can go and buy the bombs as well, now. Uh, I'm not sure what that lantern is. Um, so I've got three lots of rope, three lots of bombs. Maybe, maybe I should go and buy another lantern, just in case I need it later on. There must be somewhere to upgrade your weapon as well. Let's see if he has anything to say. Of course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. <laughs> it's just the same as before, but man, that is weird. Why did they animate it like that? It's so strange. I guess as a kid I might have thought it was kind of funny. The way they sort of very animated. Okay, these are annoying. Come back! Oh, it just flew away. I need to find some way of getting more health. I don't know whether there's heart pieces or anything. Uh, right, this is where I thought I needed the lantern, but it doesn't look like the lantern actually does anything in that room. So I might need to come back there later on with something else, maybe a torch. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mind Zelda 2 either, so maybe that's why I'm not having too much of a bad time with it. Obviously, the frame rate isn't amazing, but that's to be expected on the CDI, which really didn't have any actual gaming capabilities whatsoever. So, excuse me while I jump out your window. I'm still pretty blown away by that. That is a, a really nice way of making the level like more... give it more depth by coming out the window and then going inside. Right, let's see what's in here. I haven't been in here yet. Okay, we found a, found a graveyard, apparently. A graveyard with some really funky music. Do I need to throw a bomb there, maybe? Yeah! I better switch back to the rope in case I end up accidentally using them up. I don't know why this kind of reminds me of Metal Slug a bit. The level where you get turned into zombies. Right, my sword isn't long enough really to go across... to hit them without them hitting me as well, so there must be some way of upgrading your sword. Let's explore here a little bit, then I'll try going um, up the... Oh my god, look at that skeleton. It's pretty funky. I think it looks great, honestly, not what I was expecting at all. Cheers. Yeah, honestly, I haven't really seen any actual gameplay. A little bit from the AVGN episode, but apart from that, I've only ever seen random clips. You know, the YouTube poops. Ah, oh, there's a key up there. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to die on the way back. Ah! Oh my god, how did I survive that? Okay, go away. Can I jump over him? Yes. And a shortcut back. Yeah, we can make it. Ah, oh, nearly. Hopefully I kept the key. Did I keep it? Let's go back in the in the town. 
Uh, let's check the inventory. Okay, no, it looks like I don't have the key anymore. So I'll have to go back there and get the key. Yeah, honestly though, enjoying this game way more than I thought it would be already. I've just, you know, I've only ever seen people ripping into it and saying it's a load of rubbish, don't even go there. But maybe they never actually played the game and they only ever just watched the cutscenes. Right, let's pick up some more bombs. I'm not sure how you actually use the rope up, because I've, I tried using the rope and it just didn't really do anything, so... I'll get some more of that lantern, but probably don't need any more rope yet. The backgrounds aren't bad. I heard that it's hard to tell what background elements you can and can't jump on as a platform. Yeah, I guess it's like that because everything looks kind of flat. But I do like the hand-drawn graphics, they look really nice. Okay, yeah, I can't go in here yet. I mean, they kind of look dated, I guess. But it looks interesting, it's a nice graphic style. I'm not sure about the random enemy designs though, they don't really seem great. Locked. Uh, I guess that's what the key's for. So let's try and go back and get that key. Let's see if there was anything in there. No. Anything else in here? No, I guess you just have to jump out the window. Oh, I think he hit me as well. Yeah, you can't really tell where you can jump and where you can't. So, like going on that grass there. It's a bit difficult to see whether you could actually stand on the grass there or not. Oh, I managed to... Oh no, it did take off half health. Oh, the key's not there anymore. I did keep the key. Okay. But I can't see it. In that case, the key must be for somewhere else. Definitely doesn't show... Okay, that's a bit weird. It doesn't show that I've got the key anywhere. Even though I do have it. in there. There's actually quite a lot to this already. I was expecting it to be a really simple thing. Oh, scary. And the living shall be their slaves. Oh God, I've never seen this stopped. one before. No. Can't see. I'm not going to face the skeletons yet. Let's see what's in here. Looks like another shop. Locked. Where's the key for, then? Uh, what was in here? Is that another dark room? Oh no, this was the other place that I could go where you have to go up the stairs. Ah, oh, hit my foot right at the last second. Let's see if we can actually get through this room this time, then. Uh, this is just like um, a really awkward Castlevania game. Even more awkward than actual Castlevania. Oh, I wish there was a way of aiming upwards or at least jumping a bit higher. This is where I'm going to start hating the game, isn't it? Oh my god, that's too many! Am I going to get reset? Maybe I can try throwing a bomb at them. I'm just going to try and run, run past everything here. You know what? I would really love to get Zelda's Adventure for the CDI, even though it's crazy expensive now. But that one is actually an RPG, 
not like a platformer like this one. That'd be really interesting to see how that one plays. I wonder if she'll heal me actually if I talk to her. Let's see. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic cloak. No, just the same weird thing as before. Wonder what the magic cloak does. Um yeah, it is like Zelda 2, so it does have an overworld. But I'm just trying to figure out where to go, and I think... I think you need to go through... I'm just guessing, but I think I need to go in that tower, because that's the only bit that's not locked. Ah! I went in there to try and avoid it. So... Yeah, I've already got the key from there. If I can't get up this tower, I'll try somewhere else, because there's a few different places that it looks like you can attempt to go. From the overworld. Okay, that might... Oh, okay, you're actually on a different layer, so that enemy didn't hurt me then. I'm not sure if there's any reason to stand on that chair, either. So, let's equip the bombs. And if I get a bit overwhelmed with all these enemies... I'll try using bombs against them. Ah! Oh my god, there's no iframes whatsoever. If you get hit, you just keep getting hit until you die. You can tell whoever programmed this really didn't know what they were doing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer! Yes. Okay, uh, I'm scared. I can't see what's coming up either. Why don't they drop any hearts? It's only ever rupees. No what? At least there's no enemies here to get in the way. Okay, there's something there. Ah, oh, Pagos egg? What is that? Why did I come up here to pick an egg up? Ah, okay, I don't need the bombs anymore. I hope I haven't just blown myself up. I don't know what the rope's for. Can you use it to climb? Oh, okay! That would have come in handy. That's pretty cool. No! Ah, oh, if I'd have known that. Does it work on these as well? Let's try. Oh no, I've used it up. Have I? Right, that's how it works. Okay, so I got an egg. Whatever good that is. Maybe that's what that old lady needed? Is that going to come back? Oh, no, I knew he was there. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what that egg's for. I'd better go and buy some more ropes now I know what they're used for as well. Let's go back in before everyone gangs up on me. So, yeah, let's... Let's see how many rupees I've got. I have 99. I wonder if that's the maximum. Do you get rupee bags? Let's get a few. 10, 20, 30. That's probably enough. And I'll get some... Uh, maybe I'll save the money, actually. So, what you were asking about the overworld, Mick, if you hit this here, this Triforce, on that piece of paper, that will actually take you to the world map. And then you have a range of different places that you can go. I presume these other areas open up later, because not everything has names on just yet. Like, I can go here. Or... Let's see where else I can go. I haven't really explored yet, I just went straight to that town. So there's also... This place up here. Let's try this. 
So yeah, you kind of get a map, and I'm guessing the further you go into the different areas, the more places you can unlock. It looks like there's some way you can upgrade your sword and shield as well, which would be useful. Because I'm not sure how to get past these guys without getting killed all the time. But let's see how far I can get. I didn't get very far at all last time. Ah, and that door was locked, so let's see whether the key opens it. No, it's still locked. Let's try the next one. Ah, uh, I'm not going to get there, am I? Yeah, it looks like something out of a storybook. I really like it. Like like a kid's fantasy book or something. I don't think there's any way of dodging these arrows. I'm guessing I've got to come back here when I have a better shield. Let's try going up. Can I jump on the reef? Yeah. Can I go in there, maybe? Oh, okay, I can go in there, cool. And again, it's dark. But I don't know how to use the lantern. Maybe I'll actually have to look at the instruction book to figure out what's going on here. Let's see if there's anywhere I can use the rope. Ah, there was. Let's see whether I can use that rope. There must be some way of lighting these dark areas up. There's also another building down there I haven't been in yet either. So. Okay. Uh. Wow, okay, that was easy. There's a key up there. Got it! Now I've got to find my way back down. Hey, I did it! I didn't even need the light. Excellent. Let's go and see what's in that other door. If I can get there without dying. Pretty cool music. Okay, that's what that door was for. Cool. Uh, are you ready, guys? Are you ready for another crazy cutscene? Here we go. Oh, that's me giving them the egg. Okay, I don't know why I, <laughs> I don't know why anything. Why anything? Uh, what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Great, I made an omelet. Is that it? Is that everything? I just played the flute and made an omelette, apparently. That's it! Did I get anything for it? Okay, we've got to wait until we're back outside. Let's see. I got a flute! Okay, at least I've got something that isn't an item to use whenever I press the B button now. The annoying thing is the button that you use to open the doors is the same button that you use to use the items. So I ended up throwing things away. Okay, back to the overworld, I guess. I'll try going back to that area. See whether I can get a bit further in that door at the end. <clears throat> ah, that's not a good start. I don't think I'm meant to be here yet, because I don't think there's any way. Oh, okay. Maybe if I just slash fast enough. So I traded an egg to give the kid a way of making a nice omelette. And, and he gave me a flute. Oh god, they're all coming after me. I think I'm going to start from there again. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, Jesus, give me a chance to move.
Okay, maybe I can try throwing a bomb straight away. Or... Should we try going to the other area? Yeah, look at all these different locations. It looks like a really interesting map. There's like a big tower there, there's a forest in the middle. You can see the path there for the castle going down into the forest. There's a pirate ship. There's a little hut on the beach. There's another castle, there's another ship. There's like a pumpkin on a hill there. Is that a, is that a Sonic Adventure 2 reference? Did Sega play this and get inspiration? There's another castle there, there's one of the towns. There's a giant fish skeleton there. And there's a little farm town village. So, let's try going here. This is the first area. With some cool music. These enemies don't actually give you anything though, so there's no point in fighting these ones. Ow, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Let's see what's in this hut. Weirdly makes me think more of PC point and click adventures than, than a Zelda game. Yeah, I guess you're right in a way. Uh, right, can I throw a bomb down there? Oh, maybe. Come on, get him. Yes, it worked. Excellent. I I died on him last time I tried to come down here. So there we go. We've got another key. No, how do I get out? Maybe this is what people meant by they can't tell where you can and can't stand. Oh, what? Okay, we're out. We're out. Yeah, kind of a bit like Monkey Island, but with more action. Honestly, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game at all. I don't think so. Unless I'm just going insane, but I'm having a pretty good time with it, honestly. Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud oh my God, that's bright. that scares the raps off Gibdo. Okay. Cool. I got a cloak. Is it unlimited uses? Uh, did I just throw it away? Okay, it is unlimited. So you don't actually wear it, you just throw it ahead. Great. Thanks. You know what, I think it's time to break open the mead. Let's do this. When I was on holiday in York, I went to somewhere called the Viking... Just Viking pub or York Viking pub, something like that. And I tried the Valhalla mead there and it was really nice. I bought this one while I was there. Not quite as good. It's not quite as strong as the one from there. But I do really like it still. I think it might be my new favourite alcoholic be beverage actually. Cheers to the CDI. So, is there anything else to do here? Let's go back out and have a look. Uh, I'm guessing that's it for this level. It just seems like a really short little area. Yeah, there's nothing else to do in there now. So I guess go back into the hut and then go... Whatever the Gibdos are. Are they the ghosts? Maybe. Okay, let's go back to the world map anyway. Okay, we've unlocked somewhere new, so that's how it works. So now we can go to that Tokogi Tower as well. And... Trying to remember where I was trying to go last time. Let's try and do that first. Yeah, mead, mead's honey, so that's that's why I like it so much because I really like honey. But the one I had in the pub was a lot stronger, like honey tasting. It was the same alcohol percentage, but it tasted a lot sweeter, which I really liked.
Yeah, it's kind of like wine. It tastes like wine, but it, yeah, instead of using grapes, it's honey. Which I didn't know existed until a few weeks ago, and now it's like my favourite drink. Unfortunately, they do sell the Van Halen one, which is only in that pub, but they'd run out, so I didn't get to buy any. But I really wanted to take some home with me. But this one's pretty nice. Uh, okay, right. I wonder if I can throw the cloak at these these things in here. Let's try it. Uh, that doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, I'm safe here. That doesn't go far enough, though. Let's see if I can throw a bomb at them. I've got two bombs left. Is that far enough? No. How am I going to get past him? I can't time that. No, I don't know how I'm going to get past these. Maybe I'm not supposed to yet. I'll try going to that tower where it was trying to take me. Made us lovely and old colleague Bruce at home. Oh, that's nice. They serve great honey chicken win wings. Mmm, sounds good. I love honey on everything. When I was in Japan, I would have honey, honey on French toast for breakfast every day. It was the best. And we went to um, a honey bear cafe, which was all like honey themed. And we had some really nice little honey pancake waffles. They were really nice as well. Ooh. It looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. My <laughs> cakes will burn. What? Where did those people come from? Oh no, now I have to watch oh, it again. My, it looks like everyone's been taken Oh, she's to seeing it inside Tower. the pyramid. This is illegal, I'm you guessing. know. I'm guessing. My cakes will burn. Oh no, my cakes. Oh. Oh, you don't want to burn his cakes. Come on, we better go and save him in the tower. You know what? I'm really loving this. Did I get a chance to try Hornet Soji? No, I didn't try that. Uh, I don't even think I had any sake, honestly. Thinking about it. Next time. I wanted to go to a gaming bar that I'd read about online, but it, it got closed down. I don't think Nintendo liked the fact that they were playing their their old games there. Even though they were like Super Famicom games and it shouldn't really matter. Which was a bit silly, I thought. Apparently a lot of gaming bars are getting closed down there. Or they're having to get a lot stricter. Can't get you! Damn it. I'm not doing too well this time. Let's try just... Oh, I guess I have to go in there. Oh no! Whoops, I jumped off the edge. Okay, let's try that again. Pretend none of that just happened. Okay. Oh my god, my shield actually did something! Oh, okay, maybe if you stand still long enough. Then, then you can actually use the shield properly. Oh my god, how many hits? Damn it. I wonder how many that blue rupee's worth. Don't think it's worth it. Oh my god, I'm not doing very well here. I'm sure I read somewhere there's some way you can go to upgrade your sword. Maybe I'll have to look up look that up. It gives it a longer reach as well, maybe? I'm not too sure, but let's just see whether we can get through this door and get to the next section anyway. Can't get up. 
Oh my god, okay. Let's try going back to the village and then we can come back there in a minute. Let's see whether he's got anything new in the shop. No, same stuff as before. I might end up having to look up a guide just to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Ah, leave me alone. Looks like you can go slightly faster if you run. Get a sword beam. Maybe. There must be a way of getting more hearts as well. I just haven't found it yet. Ah, okay. Well, maybe now I've got the ropes I can try and get up here. In the dark. Probably not the right way to do it. I've run out of ropes now. How long were you in Japan for and how they booked us COVID hit and had to cancel? Oh no. So I've been to Japan three times now. First time I went there for two weeks. Second time I went there for a month. And then the third time was another two weeks. And the third the third time I went was in March of 2020. So literally just a few weeks before lockdown happened. And I was so lucky that I managed to get there and back when I did. I was really worried that we were going to get stuck there and the flights were going to get cancelled and stuff. Because as we were there, it was all picking up in the news. And it was really like pushing it close but yeah I'm so sorry that you couldn't make it hopefully you'll have a chance again I don't know when is it open up I know I've seen a few more people there than usual but I don't know whether they're there on business because I think if you if you go there for work you can get in but I think people are using the term work quite loosely just so that they can actually go to Japan. Right, I'm going to try stocking up on rope and bombs. You, uh, thankfully, I did get to visit Osaka many years ago, but only for a couple of days. Yeah, the um, the second time I went there, I had two weeks in Osaka. It's really nice. And there's a really cool street called Denden Town, which is like Osaka's version of Akihabara. Which obviously I went and spent way too much money there. It's partially open for guided tours. Yeah, they're still just doing guided tours. I hate the idea of being told where to go and what to do though. I don't really think I would like that. I want to be free, I want to do what I want to do. I want to spend 10 hours in a game shop and no one can tell me to, to leave. Yeah, I don't like the idea of a guided tour. Fingers crossed they'll open back up. I want to go back as well, hopefully next year. Okay, what am I doing? someone else over there. No! Ah, oh, it was close, I think. Let's ignore this guy, then. Let's try going up this side instead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There must be some way of using a torch. Surely you're not supposed to navigate all this in the dark. There's nothing else here. Oh, 
I'm lost. I'm surrounded by bats. Uh, what to do? Let's try going back to the tower again. Dun 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 was pretty damn cool. Mostly shop for anime goods and keyboards. For the cost of the journey, I wouldn't want a tour either. Yeah, I had to look how much the flight tickets were. They're crazy. Like, three times as much as when I went last. How much are the tours themselves? Like, I'm guessing they're not cheap. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I need to get inside that cave somehow. Oh, do I need to... Use a bomb. Ah! No. I think I need to use a bomb to break open the entrance to the cave. Maybe use one on him as well. Have I got enough left? Uh, I've only got two more. Better be careful. Can I go up there? Oh, that's easier. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, uh, don't need to use the flute. That'd be weird, but let's try. No. What am I supposed to do here? Use that. I'm not even sure what that does. It said it stops people from getting scared or something. You're not going to at least give me a hint. Let's see. Oh my! It looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. My cakes will burn! <laughs> Funny, but not helpful. I still have no idea what to do. Oh, cool. I know a lot of people who like live in China and they go to Japan quite cheap. And Australia as well. I'm so jealous, living so far away, it's really difficult to get to. Um, yeah, I'm I'm stumped. I'm gonna cheat, figure out where to go next. Else, the rest of this stream will just be me walking around in circles. Unless you guys can think of anywhere I haven't been yet, but I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere, and I can't seem to get inside that cave. It's a shame I've come to a standstill because I was quite enjoying it. You know what, to make it interesting for you guys as well, I'll do it on the main computer so you can see what I'm looking at. Uh, I can figure out how to do that. Turn that on. Turn that off. And change that to screen one. Yeah, there we go. Now you should be able to see what I can see. So let's go to see if anyone's been crazy enough to actually write a walkthrough. Um, 
Where am I? Oh my god, looks like I've skipped a lot. Taikogi Tower should be part 12. And I went there at like part 3 or something, so... Uh, warthogs will appear. Keep walking until you reach a tree. Yep, done that. Keys flying in the cave. Slash at them. Drop down to fight Dodongo. Okay, I didn't do that. I threw a bomb at him instead. Oh, thanks. I really enjoyed making that video, actually. Going through all my retro setup. Uh, let's see if I can make that bigger. There we go. Now you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, it took me forever to figure all that out. It's all there now. And now I've actually got another console on that sheet of paper in the corner for the CDI as well, so that's all hooked up. Whenever I'll try and play the CDI in the future, at least I can play it straight away. So I think I've done some things out of order, because I already killed Dodongo after I got some bombs. So continue walking to the right and enter the building at the end. Hit the woman with your sword to talk to her. Of course, that's how you talk to people. Gives you some advice about Gliok. A boss we'll fight later. Okay, so that's what the green shroud was for. Um, slash the Triforce, return to the overworld. Taikogi Tower is now accessible. However, it's way too early to go there. That's that's why I was struggling. Instead, make your way to Sakodo. The main village in the game. A place that you'll be coming off and... Uh, one that will run towards you with an axe, another that will stationary. Uh, first building is a shop, but ignore it. Okay, I didn't do that. There's a number of buildings here, most of them are useless. Okay. Uh, walk to the far right, defeat all the enemies, collecting all the rubies, enter the last house and speak to the woman. Bring you some fairy dust and she'll make you a cloak, yep. Make a note of that and return later, leave through the window to get to the other part of town. But there is no need for that at the moment. Okay. Enter the shop, which is the first building. Three items, bombs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, get some bombs, rope, and lantern oil. Stock up on more. And then go to the third area. Walk left, defeat the moblin. Yeah, did that. Go into the small house. Uh, steps. Oh, okay, I haven't got that yet. That's how I can... Light up the dark rooms. Right, where is that? So, get to the bottom of the screen by zigzagging. Yeah, there's a locked door along the path, along with a number of moblins. Keep going left and enter the last building. There's two inside the small house. Run over to the moblin on the lower level, I guess that means. Time the spears. Okay, so I do have to go through that house. Okay, that's all. I know what to do now. Let's try and go back there. So, uh, how do I do that? Turn off that one, and turn on that one. There we go, we should have game audio still. <laughs> yeah, I could become the, the best Wand of Gamelon speedrunner, because no one else cares to play it. Clearly someone does, because they, they wrote a walkthrough. So I don't need to be here. I actually need to go back to the other place. The cable management on the wall. I got that idea from somewhere, but I can't remember where I saw it. So I'll take credit for it. It was a long time ago that I saw it. I think it was like on, on Pinterest or something. And then when we were in Ikea buying stuff for the new house, I thought, hey, I can use that, pe that pegboard. So it looks pretty uh, sturdy up there but everything is tied on with like loads of cable ties and it took ages to get it all all plugged in and switched on and stuff I should have recorded the whole process of building it as well but yeah I'm so glad it's all set up like that and as you can see I can just play and record everything just instantly and if you can see behind me, I've got it playing on the screen there as well, so... That's the actual screen that it's plugged into. With the HDMI cable, I'm actually looking at it on, on the computer screen on the other side of the room. And because the cable gets split at the same time, there's not actually any difference in the lag. 
so the only lag I'm getting is what I would get anyway through the capture card. Uh, I gotta get in there quick. Okay, so it said wait for an opening between the spears and then run through and hit the guy at the bottom. So there, so one, two, three, and then they wait. Let's do it. One, two, three, and go. <laughs> Nearly. Okay, I know what to do now at least. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, got him. And then he should... Oh, no, he does turn around. Oh, damn it. So this is where I get the lantern, and I can use that to... Oh, it's fine now. The other one's gone. So one, two, three. So then once I've got the lantern, then I can move to the next section. One, two, three. Stab. Got him. Lantern. Got it. Now I can go back to the place. Yeah, the game's a bit clunky, but I'm actually quite enjoying it in a weird way. So, I think the room up there on the top was a dark room, but let's see what's in here first. I think this is where I went to get the flute off that kid, yeah. And that Triforce at the top can take me back to the world map. But, uh, let's try and go up the top. If I can go up there, yeah. Jump onto the roof. I don't know if there is a way of avoiding that one. And I should be able to use the lantern now, and I've got a load of lantern oil. So, let's try and select the lantern, see whether this works. Yes, now I can actually see what's going on. Oh, if, wait until you see the graphics in the cutscenes. I mean, I'm sure you've probably seen them before, but... Jeez, they are something. Yeah, the weird thing about the, the graphics is just how, like... You can't tell what layer anything's on. What was the point of coming in here? Did I get anything? I don't even think I got anything. Let's see. Uh, did I get anything? Did you guys see anything there? There must have been some reason to go and kill whatever was in there. No, the room's completely empty. Well, I've got loads of lantern oil, so I can just light it up again anyway. I don't know. There's nothing up here. I'm going to just quickly look at that walkthrough again, see whether there was anything to do in there. Oh yeah, I haven't got Link Faces of Evil, sorry. So let's put the PC uh, screen back on and let's see what was going on now. Using the lantern, exit the house, walk back to the right and you'll see a path northwards, jump on the path, head left along the top part of the screen. Yep, done that. This building has an enemy called Aikman on the second level. It will move around the higher ledge, toss a boomerang. Yep, I did that. Once you break any steps to the right of where you entered. Should be clear at the door, go to the menu, select the lantern, yeah, climb the ladder, collect the blue ruby, exit. Walk to the right and use one of the ropes to climb to the higher ledge, slash at the key to get it. Oh, I already went there and got the key before I could light the place up, that's why I couldn't find anything. Walk back, uh, walk to the left, enter the first house, speak to the woman, she'll give you an egg. Yeah, I already did all that, so... Uh, I've already been there. I've already spoke to that kid. Um, gave me a flute or something. Let's...
Let's see where it mentions the flute. Uh, the woman will give Zelda the flute. We'll be using this later. Hit the Triforce and return to the overworld. Sword? Oh, no, I haven't. I've, I've done everything out of order. How have I missed that? And I've spoiled myself by finding out I can have the sword beam as well. Where do I need to go, then? Well, what area is this? Let's just find that out. Sakado or Sakado. So let's try going there. Let's turn that back off. Let's put the game back on. Right, let's try that. I want to get Faces of Evil at some point. And Zelda's Adventure, but that one's crazy, crazy expensive now. Like, upward of a thousand pounds. I was trying to have a look on eBay earlier. Even this game's like 200 plus now, it's crazy. I got it just a few years ago for like 40 and I thought that was expensive at the time. Yeah, it's not worth it. Even die-hard Zelda collectors don't like to admit that Zelda's adventure actually exists. Just because it's too expensive. Uh, right, where am I going next? Pretty sure I've done everything in that first area. But the only other place that was open was the tower, so maybe I'm supposed to go back to the main village. I can't go to the tower yet because I can't open the door to get in. So let's go back to the main village then. The YouTuber Wavy Websurf did a pretty interesting video trying to discover who Morshu's voice actor was, along with several other voice actors. Did the voice actors actually remember doing this game? Or these games? Do they know about the YouTube poops that they got turned into? I should probably buy some more lantern oil if I'll be using that. Let's get three of them and some rope and some more bombs to go with it. If I've got enough, yeah. Oh yeah, do you want to see the uh, terrible cutscenes? Here we go, let's speak to the shopkeeper. Of course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. So weird. It reminds me of something that I would make, like, in paint or PowerPoint back at school. <laughs> or Flash. Macromedia Flash. I'll handle the rubies. <laughs> it's so weird. Why do they, like, zoom in and spin round like that? So creepy. Right, let's try and light this room up. This must be where I need to go. Oh, that's how I managed to get up there last time. It's annoying that you can't have three buttons. Uh, oh, close! I thought I was going to die then. There's a door there! Okay, that's where I need to go. I haven't been through that door. There it is! Sword upgrade! Don't kill me. I've only got half a heart left. Yes! Power sword. Excellent. I do get the laser beam thing. It doesn't let you pick things up, though. That's still really cool, though. So, yeah, the game may look terrible. It may sound terrible. It may have terrible cutscenes. But it is quite enjoyable in a weird way. I'm enjoying myself. Somehow. Oh, no. I said that. I can't find my way out of this place now. I'll have a look at that video after. Sounds like a... Sounds like a Nick Robinson kind of video. Right, so now I've got a power sword. Not sure what good that does, but anyway. Let's see what else we can do now we have a power sword. And a lantern. That door's still locked, so there's still something else I need to do in this area. I 
I love this bit when you go through the lady's window saying, so, oh, you guys want to see another cutscene? Here you go. Isn't I'll jump my knees. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic cloak. Lovely. So that lady gave me whatever that purple thing is on the right there. And... I also got a flute that I don't know when I'm supposed to use. What's with all the faces? It's like they were drawn by a blind person or something. I have no idea what they were thinking. It must have been outsourced to like a studio that didn't know what they were doing. There's another person up here. This is Impa. So if you're a Zelda fan, you know what Impa's supposed to look like. Here you go. Do you see anything? Yes. Oh I'm my! Zelda. Your father has been captured. What about Link? Oh He's my! He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Oh no! Link's been in a fight. <laughs> That's it. That's all she says. I've been here twice now, and she hasn't said anything different. <laughs> I thought it'd be really interesting to actually play this game though because a lot of people have only ever seen the cutscenes so I thought, hey, let's see what the actual game's like and to be honest, the game isn't bad apart from the questionable graphics and frame rate the actual way you play the game and progress through it is pretty good actually it's kind of like Zelda 2 excuse me princess, that's from the uh, that's from the TV series not from the game. I think so, anyway. Uh, I think I've already done this. There was something up here that I needed to go. I don't, I don't think there's any point in me going back up here. Apparently it's a studio close to where you live. What? That's weird. I wonder if they're still around. I, th I figured it would be like a Chinese studio that they'd outsourced it to or something. <laughs> My god. Imagine if, like, I don't really know what the modern day equivalent to, like, Philips in the 90s was, but imagine if Nintendo went out to someone like that and asked them to make like a weird Zelda an animation thing. And the living shall be their slave. Oh my god, that voice. She must be stopped. Can someone find out who his voice actor is? Oh yeah, I didn't go anywhere in this in this stage yet. I got here and I felt too scared to go anywhere. But now I'm stocked up on lantern juice. actually progress. So this is new now. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to get very far though. Do you see what I mean about it being like a weird, like, budget Castlevania? In a way. Oh my god. Oh my god, imagine if they brought out a, a CDI collection. Even Zelda fans refuse to believe these games existed. I don't think Nintendo wants anything to do with them. Right, I need to go and buy a load of rope. How much money have I got? 42? I don't know. I might even need to go and grind. And I've got... I've got 15 uh, lantern oils. Let's get some more rope. They were acquired by another company shortly after this came out. Oh dear, I feel bad for whoever that company was. Oh, now I have to go all the way back to the other side of the town. It was a Russian-American joint studio. Hmm. Very strange. I wonder what else they did. Did they do any like cartoons or anything? Yes, I got my power sword. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. That's going to make getting through here a lot easier. 
If the um, if the colours weren't so dithered, I think some of the backgrounds could actually look quite nice. Like, kind of looks like um, like a kid's fantasy book drawing, kind of. But the sprites don't really match the backgrounds very much. Okay, excuse me, lady, just going to jump out the window. I love the way they designed this area as well, with half the stage being on the back, and you go through the window to get to it. Kind of like an uh, early version of Shantae or something. Oh yeah, let's see if there's anything in here. No, it's locked. Okay, I'm guessing you get the key from in, in here. That's pretty good as well, depending on what layer you're on, some of the enemies on the background can't hurt you. And we have to listen to this weird guy again. They worked on King's Quest. Ah. Ah, I'm gonna die! I need to drink my mead. Come back outside. So I haven't found a way of gaining any health though, only, only rupees. I've never actually played any of the King's Quest games. Oh, you can skip it. Although I know, um, obviously they were very, very popular on the PC. Back in the golden era, the golden age of gaming. Okay, I'm doing better this time. Can I get over there? No. Oh, you can stand on that bit. Uh, I guess I'll just do that. I'm going to have to use a lot of ropes. Oh no! I've got to use a bomb. Good job I came well stocked. Oh! Even the bombs won't work against it. Or do I just need to use more of them? Oh no. Uh, maybe the cloak? Let's try it. Or the flute. Got two other options. Yay, that worked. Apparently it's throwing gone. a cloak will hurt him. It's gone. <laughs> oh my god, that animation. Oh my god. Incredible. He turned into a green screen. Do I get anything for doing that? Did anything happen? I can go back to the map. Did it unlock a new area? It did. Wash, Washubi Swamp. Okay. Weird. I thought it would at least give me an item or something. Uh, shall we go there straight away? Sure. Why not? Maryland has quite a few game studios that came from there. That's cool. What's the most famous one? This game is actually a lot more... Oh my god, I can land on the crocodile. I didn't expect that. I was about to say, this game's a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be. Oh god, he is going back again. No rupees from these enemies either. It's like the enemies in the first level. I love the fact that you can go on the back of the crocodile, that's cool. I could probably have jumped off there. Oh, yeah, I probably needed to jump off there. Let's see whether I can jump across the trees as well. Maybe? That's the difficult thing. Like, sometimes... You, you know you can stand somewhere. And the collision detection's all sorts of wonky. I'm just going to wait for it here now. Uh, Bethesda, wow. That's a good claim to fame. Wow, you had a lot of cool game companies there then. 
the only company kind of close to me is Rare, which I always thought was really cool growing up because they were my favorite developer. I always thought I wanted to go and work for them and then obviously Microsoft bought them out and then I didn't care anymore. But yeah, that's about it really. There's Codemasters in Birmingham, so if you're into racing games, that's pretty cool that they're, they're close. How did I die there? I'm sure I jumped onto the side. Um, obviously, one day people will be going, Retro Break Studios is, is from the Midlands. I'll be, f I'll, I'll, I'll be a famous... I'll make a famous game company one day. Just give me a chance. How do I get out? Okay, I just need to jump straight on. Okay. Easy. I would love to get back into making games. I just haven't got the time. What? That's not fair. Yeah, Rockstar's in, in Glasgow. In my old job, someone's friend worked at Rockstar, and he said he uh, he worked there for two years, and in that time he made a, a special way of reloading weapons so that it looked more natural in the game which I thought was really interesting. But that goes to show just the size of Rockstar's productions, that they can they can hire someone full-time just to slightly improve the uh, reloading animation for their, for their weapons. He found some new way of, like, shrinking the, the bullet or something so that it looks natural when it interacts with the gun. Uh, not really familiar with British developers besides Rare and Hello Games. I'm trying to think who else that's kind of famous anyway. Um, there was probably a lot more back in the, uh, the PC, you know, the early British computer era. Rockstar's the big one, obviously. There's a whole load in uh, somewhere called Leamington Spa, which isn't that far from where I live either. It's like an hour away. But unfortunately, they're mostly just mobile game developers these days. But Sega Hardlight's there, which is cool. That was somewhere I wanted to work for a while. I know someone who works there, he actually sent me one of the games that he made. He made um, Indestructo Tank, I think it's called, for the Game Boy, like as a, as a homebrew project. Heard of a few from Larry, yeah. Oh my god, I'm really struggling on this stage. I don't know why. The controls really do leave a lot to be desired. It's a shame, it's like, under its really awkward exterior, there is a fun game buried in here somewhere. I still think it's way better than what people give it credit for. Like, at least with the amount of different environments and all of the cool, like, maps and locations and stuff, you should get some points for that at least. Even if it doesn't look great and the frame rate's pretty atrocious. Right, I need to jump off here, I think. Or did I need to jump off on the next section? I think it's the next bit I need to jump off. Is it? Not sure what I need to do, eh? That doesn't go anywhere. Does he just go under the water and then come back up? Is that the thing? Is that what I'm missing? Acclaim used to be a good developer and publisher here in the UK. But of course they've 
just appeared now along with many others. THQ, I think, was a UK company. Although now I think they're in Norway. They've rebranded to THQ Nordic, I think. They've been doing a great job, though. They've re-released a lot of their classic games, which is really cool to see. Can't wait for Hotel Mario. I ordered it on eBay earlier, actually. Don't tell anyone. I ordered quite a few games that I thought I'd be interested in playing on the CDI. So... How am I supposed to do that? And I can't get up there. I don't think. Let's try and time it. So it's going to go down, and then... I don't know now. Now I'm getting really frustrated with it. I take everything good that I said back. This game sucks. I'm just going to have a quick look at the guide again to see where I'm going wrong. I'm presuming I have to go that way. Oh no. I don't think plumbers wear... Plumbers don't wear ties. It's on the CDI. That's on the 3DO. I think. Unless it has a CDI version as well. Uh, have I missed something? Um, skip to the fourth. Yeah, I've done that. Use a sword beam. Yeah, I've kind of done everything out of order because I already found the egg. And I've gone back uh, to the kid to make the omelette jump to the right uh, head to the cemetery toss it at the stone yeah I've done that walk up and find the key I've done that already back in the village walk to the far side you find a fisherman that you saved who's changed his jobs. Okay, I haven't done that. In this house, you'll find the fisherman that you saved earlier. Apparently, he's changed jobs and he's now a blacksmith. Return here later. Okay. Uh, final destination is the building on the right. I'll see a creepy cutscene. Defeat the stone fast on the lower floor. Platform that resembles a nest. Yeah, I've already done that. Uh... To the top. Now the swamp's accessible. Now you've got a sword beam. Defeat them, head to the left part in return for the egg. The woman will give Zelda the flute. Yeah, I've already done that as well. Return to the overworld, go to the swamp. Oh, maybe that is it then. Brace yourself. This is the toughest part of the game yet. Um, the power sword is a must, and you'll also need at least one rope. Bombs are not required, but could be useful. Uh, Fate the snail, make the jump. Jump on its back. Yep, yeah, when you reach the next tree, jump off the alligator and land on the green bush. Jump and slash the snail. Use a rope to climb the branch. Uh, that's all I need to do. I thought it was too far over, I didn't even think of that. Then do some more snail stuff. And then we can move on to the forest. Okay. I'm glad I've got this guide, because I would just have given up by now. I'm glad I'm streaming it as well. Because I would have given up a long time ago. So, I think the game's back on. I need to get a 3DO as well so I can play Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Ah, one second.
There we go. I'll just put the fan on because it's a bit hot in here. Yeah, that's better. I've got the window open, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, definitely THQ was a kind of very mixed bag in terms of quality. Some of the stuff they did was great, and they published some original games too, and... Oh, I know what my favourite thing about THQ was, they published all of Rare's Game Boy Advance games. Which was really cool, because I didn't expect to see any games on Nintendo after the buyout, so... I was literally happy with anything I could get my hands on Rareware at the time. Although I've still never played those Saber Wolf games for the GBA, that's one I need to try and track down. And I was thinking a while ago, actually, I'd love to do a video about Rare's Nintendo games from after the Bio era. I think that would be really interesting. Man, I hate that jump. You can't jump there. If you, um... If you jump diagonally, it just kills you straight away. But yeah, do you guys think that would be an interesting video? To have a look at Rare's GBA games? And... And DS games as well, actually. They did, um... What did they do on the DS? They did... Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, remake of the N64 game, and they also did Viva Piñata. For the DS as well. I don't think they did anything else. Maybe it was just those two. So, it was good of Microsoft to let them keep making handheld games, at least, for Nintendo. Because obviously there wasn't any competitor on Xbox's side in terms of handhelds. So I always thought that was really cool. Are there any others that I'm missing, or is it just those two? I think it was just those. So, I need to jump off here, kill that snail. Is he going to fly at me? Yeah, kill him. And then get the rope out. And then you need to get up here. And then what do I do? Time it to get back onto the crocodile's back again? Oh! No! Ah, oh, almost. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone cover... Obviously, apart from DK Vine and their awesome podcasts, but not on a YouTube video. So yeah, I'd love to track them down. I did really enjoy the Banjo-Kazooie game for the GBA at the time. I wonder if I can jump over there. I'm going to risk it. I skip that bit out. Yes, I can. I don't need to wait for that annoying crocodile. Wonder if I can get up there as well. Maybe I'll use another rope. Wonder if I can just keep using ropes here to skip this whole bit out. I'm not sure how far I can stand there. Oh my god, I can! Yes! I'm just going to go back and stock up, stock up on rope if I can't do this. Oh god! What? Diddy Kong Racing was my most played game on the N64 growing up. Still need to pick up a DS copy, but it sounds like a sweet video. Awesome! Man, I love Diddy Kong Racing as well. That's something else I want to stream at some point. I need to get some more rupees, I think. I'm going to stock up on ropes so I can go back to that swamp. Without having to go across that annoying alligator section. No, I lost my super sword. This game's a lot longer than I thought it would be. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I didn't expect all these different areas that you can unlock. Okay, how many rupees do I have now? 63. That's enough for six lots of rope. It might be okay. Yeah, I still need to get Sable Wolf, but when I get that, then I can do that video. I had someone email me earlier to ask how my Quintet video is going as well, so that sort of reignited my excitement of making that video. That was really cool. So, greetings from a fellow Quintet fan in Germany. I was like, oh wow. Someone actually cares so much about the fact that I've mentioned it in the past that they actually sent me an email to ask, you know, where's the video? I want to see it. So, that's really cool. I'm just going to keep buying these until I run out of money.
Oh, is he going to tell me Sorry, off? Zelda. Not enough rubies. You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. There you go. There's your Russian American uh, animation. I think I've seen too much. I'm going to have to break out some more meat here. I've nearly finished it. There we go, and I think we've got one more glass. Cheers to more awful Zelda games. So, should we try again? There it is. Let's try again. How long have I been streaming? One hour thirty-nine. Maybe the drink won't help. Yes, I'm glad I can make that whole section though. Can I hit that one? Just about. These are really annoying enemies. You can't actually hit them um, from a standing position. Uh, yes, it's the only glass I've got. I want to drink it out of a Viking horn. You thinking about streaming some Quintet games in the future? Awesome. Which ones are you thinking of playing? Obviously, I'm going to say you should play... Um, obviously, you should play Illusion of Time. How far can I go on here? Oh, I don't even need them at all. Excellent. Well, the, the option for glasses that I had was either this... Or a, uh, a party glass that we got when we were on holiday in Tenerife. So I figured this looks a little bit more classy on stream. Rather than one that says Siam Adventure Park. Uh, oh, oh no, I thought I landed on his head there. Illusion of Gaia and Time first and then Terran Enigma and go back to Soul Blazer. Should try the Grand Stream Saga as well. I know two of the gates wants me to play that one. I keep stopping in the air there. I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Classy was kind of the uh, the vibe that I'm getting from this. Oh my God! Yeah, Classy. Yeah, so Classy. Jeez, this game is challenging. I can see why everyone wants to disown it. I thought I was enjoying it, and now I got to this area. Oh, this is just impossible. This game does not exist. Say every Zelda fan ever. It does exist. And it says Nintendo on the box, so you have to class it as part of the Zelda series. I'm sorry, they're the rules. Current mood pain. Maybe. I'm doing okay, I think. I'm not. I'm not overdoing it like AVGN. I kind of want to go back and watch AVGN's video. I can't really remember what he, uh, what he said about it. I remember him saying it was really frustrating having to grind for rupees. Okay, first area down, and I've still got my laser sword. But I'm already scared. Can I jump over there? Should be able to. Maybe I should try and time it so there's a crocodile coming past, just in case. Okay, we're still good. 
Oh, uh, uh, that's not fair. Why did he just come out of, out of nowhere? Oh my god, there's too many of them. There's too many! Oh my god, what? How are you supposed to do that? That's ridiculous. No maid in the world could get me through this. Oh my god. Okay, I've still got it. No! Jesus. This is stupid. Oh my god, the frame rate is going at like two frames a second here. The enemies aren't even dropping anything. No! Because I used my sword, it stopped me from moving forward. No. <laughs> I've got to do that whole area again. I need another drink. Uh, I'm just going to drink it straight out of the bottle, I think. Oh man, this is painful. I can do it. See? See? I can do it. One day. What happened there? I jumped and nothing happened. At least I've got a proper controller. I can't imagine the frustration if I could only play it using that TV remote thing that I've got for the CVI. Ah, oh, again. I haven't seen any heart containers, but I did notice on the walkthrough that it says you should be expected to start this area with so many hearts, and it said this one was still only three hearts, so you must get some later on. But I don't know where you get them from. Anyway, I'm concentrating now. God, having to use up to jump as well is just stupid. Why bother having all these buttons on the controller if you can't use them? It's just stupid. Who designed this game? Very least really someone completely incompetent. Who'd never even played a game before in their lives. Wasted another bit of rope. Great. Okay, we made it to the next section! And watch me die horribly. Like five times in a row. Hey, somehow I managed to kill that one. Good. Good. That's not fair. It literally spawned right on top of me. How am I still alive? Where am I going? I feel like it's just gonna go down at any second. Ah, oh, I could have gone in there then. And back to the start. I think I've run out of rope. And, oh my god, I can see now the frustration. None of those enemies drop any rupees. And I've run out of rope. Oh no, I've still got loads of rope left. I wonder why I couldn't use it then. I've only got five rupees, though. get some more. I feel like I'll need more. Oh, I haven't got enough for that either. Sorry, okay, weird there. animation time. Not enough rubies. 
You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. I don't know why they call them rubies and not rupees. Alright, so let's try again. I hope you guys are enjoying this, even though it's just like the same thing over and over again now. The first hour of this stream was interesting. Now it's just a slog. And it looks like I'm still quite early on in the game too. Which is really surprising. I thought the game would be a lot shorter. I really thought the game was mostly cutscenes from what I've seen online, so I was quite surprised to find out how much like actual actual gameplay there is. It's not good gameplay, but it's gameplay. Kind of. In a weird PowerPoint feeling way. Although it's probably one of the more competent games on the CDI. Not that that's saying much. But it's a game, which is more than can be said about a lot of the games on here. Which are nothing more than just slideshows. Concentrating now. Try and not let that one get me. Hey, I'm doing better this time. I spoke too soon. That's just stupid. I can't move when I get in front of that one. I really feel like this is as far as I'm going to get in this game. The rest of the levels weren't this difficult. Okay, back to the start again. Oh, uh, where am I? I'm going to be really careful this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Take that one out over there. I hate the fact that the jump button is up. Okay, and you can't use the rope while you're on the crocodile. That's why it wouldn't let me do it earlier. I can use it there. Alright, we're back. I wish I was playing this on an emulator now so I could use save states, but here we are. Oh no! Ah! Oh. You don't want to land on the crocodile. No! Why? Ah! Oh. Every time you f shoot in the air, you just stop and you can't move. So it literally punishes you for trying to save yourself. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm doing okay. Oh no! Oh. I got a little bit further. Oh, this is pain. Okay, okay. I'm in business, I'm going up. Right, let's do this.
Maybe it's easier if I look at the TV screen. I feel like there might be slightly less lag on the screen over there compared to this one. Let's see, how close can I get to the edge of that? Not quite enough to get over there. Good luck. I'll need it. This game's insanely difficult. Have you ever played it before? It's this second area here. I just can't get past it. There's just too many of these, like, pterodactyl things. Everywhere. Uh, no! As soon as you touch that thing as well, you just can't escape it. I didn't even get hit then. Oh yeah, you had it on the um, on one of the copied discs, didn't you? Did you get very far in it? That's insanely difficult. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we're back again. Projecting the game onto another monitor. So that's actually the screen that it's plugged into, and then I've got a HDMI cable in the corner, which is going into the capture card, and I'm playing it on, on the computer monitor on this side of the room. So it might be easier for me. There's a bit less lag if I use that screen instead, so bear with me one second. No, it's not going to work doing all three at once. I'm just going to have to put up with it on the screen. Yeah, it's not going to work. That should only be like a second delay, I guess. No, not, not even a second, like. 10, 20 milliseconds. But it is a little bit faster on there. I have one other thing I could try and do. Uh, no, I'm not playing it through Streamlabs. I'm playing it using the HDMI pass-through on the capture card on my on my computer monitor. Probably can't see it. So uh, there you go. You can just about maybe you can't on on the stream, but. I'm basically using the HDMI cable coming out of the capture card into the computer screen. So there shouldn't be that much lag because it's just passed through, but it is using a long cable from the side of the room. But anyway, maybe I'm just making excuses. That's why you can see the game in two places at once. I have the sound coming out of OBS into my headphones though, so that's how come I can hear the game. I thought it'd be better doing it through headphones in case it um, doubles the audio up or anything with the microphone. Come on, I can do this. I'm not even halfway through the game apparently.
I'm sure there was a way of jumping onto that branch. Come on. Um, so this mic, this one here, is the Elgato Wave 3. But I want to upgrade it at some point to um, the Earthworks Ethos, which looks like a really good uh, microphone for doing like podcasts and things. It sounds a lot nicer than the SM7B, that was going to be my other option. It's a lot more expensive though, so I'm going to save up. Or the Electro Voice, but I didn't really like the way that one sounded. I've been doing a lot of research into different microphone options. Ah! Damn it. But yeah, the one I'm using now is the uh, Elgato Wave. Which is good. It's better than the Blue Yeti, which is what I had before. Oh! Oh my god, yes! Triple crocodile action! Now, what's going on with this one? Oh my god, yes! Now what? Now I'm scared. I should have just used the crocodiles. It sounds solid, but I know it could sound better. That's, that's what I keep thinking. I know I shouldn't be bothered that much. Oh my god, have I made it to the next area? Yes! I did it! Now, what is going on here? Am I safe? Got same time. Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do all right. That's the spirit! Bring some hand, you spore, if you want a bit more punch! <laughs> my god. Did she give me anything? Don't tell me I came all the way here and I didn't have something. No. No, don't tell me that. I missed something again. Let's see what she said again. Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do all right. That's the spirit. I'll do all right. Bring some hand you spore if you want a bit more punch. Bring some hand you spore. What's that? I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh, it's okay. That unlocked the next area. Thank God for that. <laughs> I was genuinely panicking then, thinking that I'd have to go back and do that area again. <laughs> Although it sounds like I'll have to do it again, because I have to go back and give her something. Oh my God. Thank God I can move on. Why does this remind me of Rayman? Even the music's kind of like Rayman. Maybe I just insulted Rayman there. Oh my god, I can't hit it. Very Rayman feeling. I do like all the different environments. It doesn't seem too bad so far. Although I can't stay on that rope. Oh my god. Ah! Ah, get off me! Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> I just jumped in the pit. The other thing I'm worried about, I don't think that the CDI down there has a battery, so I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to save this. So I'm trying to get as much... as far into the game as I can tonight. because I don't know whether I'll be able to carry this on at all. But so far this level doesn't seem as bad as the last one. But hopefully I didn't jinx it. Okay, we're going inside a tree. Yeah, it's got the video CD thing. Um, although I don't know where the video CDs are. I do still have them somewhere. I remember... Top Gun was one of them. And some weird Philips... 
catalog thing where you could look at. Oh, I think there's something I should pick up there. Not sure how to get to that. Yeah, there's like a interactive catalog where you could look at stuff that Phillips was selling. Do I have to go down this way? Yeah, that's it. I hate these enemies that are too short for you to attack properly. I got a Hanyu Spore, whatever that was for. I can't remember who asked for that. Okay, and you can't jump on that bit. Yeah, crying game. I've actually got that one out over there. A lot of the games are up in the loft at the minute. And there's a, there's a few more games that I bought for it afterwards as well, which maybe I'll play in the future. I haven't plugged it in in like five years, and uh, I had to actually open it up to fix the disc spinner because it wouldn't spin. I had to have a look on YouTube, and someone said that um, I was really scared about doing this actually, but it did work. They said you have to open it up and then get a knife. It's not here anymore, but I did have a knife on the table here earlier. You have to get a knife and prize the actual CD spinning thing, because if it's left out for too long, it actually fuses with the metal of the thing that it's, like, standing on. So you have to kind of disconnect it so that it can spin properly again. And those parts are really difficult to replace. So I was really worried about doing that yesterday. But thankfully it does work. Because, like I said, I... I found the proper controller for it, finally, after like 10 years. Oh no, I should have jumped over that. But yeah, I was a bit panicked yesterday, doing like surgery on it to try and get it to spin the disc properly because it just kept showing up with an error message every time I tried to play anything I really thought it was broken God, I don't think I've ever played a platform game as unresponsive as this before. It really is painful to control. We've done it, guys. We've made it to the tree. And I presume it's kept what I picked up, so I don't need to go and get it again. Yeah, it's, it's kept it, that's good. So we just have to worry about trying to get through this section now. Which might be a bit easier now we've got full hearts. I'll try and keep my distance from things. Oh, something spawned right in front of me there, then. Uh, oh, there's someone there! Cutscene time! Greetings, Princess Zelda! Do you have any Arpagos feathers? What are they thinking with these animations? No, I don't have any... Feathers. Oh no, I won't be able to attack the bats now because I'll just keep... I haven't got any feathers. Again, is this just somewhere I need to come back to later? Not enough rubies, what was I trying to do?
Oh, I didn't know it actually cost you money to play the flute. Damn. I just need to get out of here now. Do you think this could be one of the best games on the CDI? Uh, maybe? I mean, I am kind of enjoying it, and I do seem to be progressing, even though I'm complaining a lot. Unfortunately, all the games I've got are in the loft, I think. I just remembered, actually, I did find some yesterday while I was looking. Unfortunately, I don't know where the front cover's gone for this one, but Tetris for the CDI is actually a really good version. It has a really nice soundtrack, and it's got some really cool backgrounds. Um, Burn Cycle is another one that I picked up. This one's a really cool uh, kind of point-and-click adventure with loads of FMV like sequences in between everything, and it comes in this really nice like fluorescent green case as well. And of course, it's also got the Dragon's Lair games, which are really good on there. So it does have a few. You could call them hidden gems, I guess. I guess you could include Zelda, maybe. But yeah, Hotel Mario is a good game. And I've got a few more coming in the post. I kind of got back into wanting to get some more games for it recently. Since I got the controller, now I can actually play proper games on there rather than using the weird analog stick thing. So, I'm kind of excited to try some out. I've got Demio's Quest, which looks really cool. I've got that one coming. We have frozen the fountain of life. Oh, that was good. We have made evil. Let's bring the darkness down. I feel like I'm going crazy. Are they an enemy, or are they just someone to speak to? How is this a fairy fountain? I don't know what I can jump on and what I can't. Can I not jump on anything? Do I need to use a rope? There's nothing even to grab onto. This is so weird. Oh, I got up somehow. Let's see, <laughs> let's see where I was. How did I get up there? Am I going to fall down? Oh no, I killed her. I thought she was an NPC. There's a cauldron. Oh no. Okay, so I need to go right to the end. And just keep jumping. See how far I can go in the dark. Keep jumping up. There we go. I guess I should probably use it now. I've got ten more, so I can afford to use some. Let's get the ropes back out. I don't know whether I need to put something in that cauldron. Ow! That one hit kill. This is frustrating. Get the lantern out again. Wait until I'm over there, because it doesn't last that long, so... Got to preserve some of the light. Probably use it a bit early. And watch out for the fire here. What? One hit kills everywhere. I might have to go and consult the walkthrough again. Might be something I'm missing there. See if I can just get to it by constantly jumping. I don't know whether this is the right way to go. I'll try one more time.
I don't see how you're supposed to avoid them all. Like, the control's really slippery as it is. Don't mind me, I'm gonna go and consult the walkthrough. I can't be bothered to figure out where to go next on my own. So let's turn that off. Let's turn on PC. Let's open this back up. Let's try and figure out where we are. So I've been through the forest. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Find the hand you spore. Slash had it to get the item. Yep, got that. Find a woman walking around. She'll ask if you've got any feathers. We don't have them quite yet, but we'll return later. Good. I haven't missed anything then. Use a rope to get back up the top and hit the Triforce symbol to return. Now go to the fairy pool. However, since we got the Hanyu Spore, we can give it to the man in the Wasubi Swamp. So head back there instead. Yeah, see what you were saying about the, the heart counters. It shows how much life you should have by that point. And it's saying that I still should only have three. And that is chapter 1.9, so... About halfway through now. I doubt we're going to do it though. So, let's go back to 1.9. So, where do I need to go back to? I need to go back to the... Swamp. Give it to the man in the swamp. Okay. Go through the treacherous swamp a second time. No! There's nothing different. Once you reach the end, enter the building and speak to the man once again. Oh, I knew I'd have to go back there. Oh yeah, I need to sw switch it back to the game for you guys. One second. Let's put that back on. Turn that off. Okay, back to the swamp. Back to the swamp. Okay. Okay. So we're not supposed to be here yet. Let's go back to the swamp. How's it going? Apart from playing the CDI. Yeah, it's going well, thanks. And honestly, although these last few areas have been really difficult, I was actually quite enjoying this game up until this point. I don't know whether that's me or the mead speaking, though. Ah, uh, already lost it. So I think I remember what to do to get through this swamp pretty easily now. Let's wait for that snail thing to go. Yeah, you can jump straight across there, so that's not too bad. It's really only the second area that poses a challenge. Apart from that, you can't walk because there's no iframes. I hate that. Such a stupid, stupid idea. I really feel like the people who made this game have never played a game before in their lives. You can go this way as well, and then you can jump up at the end. Wow, how did I get through there without getting hit? That was impressive. Yeah, I don't know whether the save batteries still working or not, though. Um, so I'm a bit worried about actually stopping playing this in case I can never pick up from here again, because I really don't want to play all the way through this again anytime soon. But I think at least I've got this section down, so... It's not that much of a problem anymore. Oh, no! Leave me alone! Oh, no. I hate those. I feel like at this point, it's probably better just to die on purpose so that I can get all three lives back. But let's carry on. Let's see how far we can go. But honestly, this game isn't as bad as I was... Mm, you know, as I thought it was going to be. Sure, it's super awkward to play and not that much fun, but I like some of the level themes. And it does feel like you're going on a big adventure, like a fairy tale adventure, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I read about that earlier, like the only way to replace the, the battery for the saves is to, like, desolder a certain chip on the motherboard or something. It's crazy. Why did they think that was a good idea? Well, I don't think they had many good ideas when they were making the CDI, to be honest. And then you had 
Philips executive saying that it wasn't for playing games anyway. It was just for interactive multimedia experience things. Hence the fact that it has like no actual gaming technology that are usual. Oh man, I hate that section so much. Stop making excuses for this awful game. Who even made this game? Let's see. It just says produced by Animation Magic, so they must have done the cutscenes and the actual game at the same time. Which is crazy. Like, they probably never even made a game before if they were just an animation company, so to expect them to make a full game. I don't know what they were expecting. I don't know why Nintendo signed it off either. Like, they gave them the license and then just let them go crazy with it and didn't check. Like, there's no way Nintendo would let someone release this. It's even got their name and logo on the box. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand how this happened. It's such an interesting curiosity in the history of gaming. It's like, how did this happen? How does something like this exist? In such a big franchise as well. Like, I get it, they f the deal with the PlayStation fell through, but... Was this really what they had planned for the SNES CD? I don't think so. Surely they could have gave Philips some of the games that they were working on on that. Oh my god, we're getting closer. Now we can have a minute to breathe on this. Oh god, no we can't! What the hell? We couldn't even stand on there. All I have to do is get just past that section, and then we can move on to the next part of the game. Ah, oh, come on, I was stood on that, that's not fair. I get that it was a holdover from Philips, but did they not want to check to make sure the games were actually good? Didn't they care? They're like, yeah, we've sold the license, whatever, just do what you want. Someone from Nintendo surely must have seen this. I just don't understand that part of it. Like, were they really just going to hand the license over and then not even look at what was being made? Come on, I just need to get in that house. Yes, let me in! Oh, I did it. Finally. Okay, let's go and speak to this guy again. Ready? Cutscene time. You're back! Now give me your glove. Hey! <laughs> Don't worry! Here! A power glove. Great! It's so bad. What does that do? Not enough rubies. I don't know what it does. Let's see what he says this time. Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do all right. Oh, it's the same as the first time. Just without the bit to say, come back here and bring me this juice. Maybe they saw what the CDI was like and thought, yeah, there's no chance they're actually going to make a proper playable game with this. So I guess what we've got to do now is go back here and farm for rupees again. I'm going to try pressing save and see what it actually does. Maybe it did something? I don't know. Let's see what it helps us. Even that menu is sluggish to move through. Come on, let's go fight Ganon's evil legions. I'll show you how. Okay. First, move the Triforce to pick a place on the map. Oh, wow, it's like a really basic tutorial. Okay, guess I'm going to finish this while we're watching the tutorial. Then press button one. I'll fly there in a flash. Oh, that was a nice sound. There's an ASMR. Use the controller to move me left or right. 
Move it up to make me jump or climb. Up and over makes me leap. Oh my god, I didn't realise it would be this detailed. Up and over? Look, yeah, because you didn't put jump on a enemy. button, you idiots. Why would you make jump the up when you get arrow? The power sword, button one makes it shoot. I crouch when you move the controller down. You think we haven't when figured crouch, this out by I now? Walk like this. It's easy. Okay. It's easy. To enter a door, move in front of it. Now press button two. Now press the same button that lets you throw bombs and Luckily, use up things that you've paid good sword. money for. It won't hurt anyone. Great friend. idea. In fact, it makes them talk. Yeah, we've got three buttons on the controller, on but side, instead of using the third button to, to talk to people, let's just, just stab them instead. I'll handle the rubies. When you want to buy something from the merchant okay, shop, we don't need to watch all this. Sword. I don't know why they made that either. Like most of it's just obvious anyway. You just figure it out as you were playing, right? So weird. But it does seem like they put a lot of effort into the game. Like I love this. I love this map and all the different areas that you can go to. It looks really cool. Like they did put a lot of thought into it. In some ways. So anyway, let's go back here. We need to get some more rubies. Not rupees. Luckily, I've got the laser sword, so I can just do that now. Oh, okay. So the power glove just, like, makes a big explosion. That's probably what I need to go through that door where the cave was. If I can remember where that was. How many rupees do I have? Eight. I'm guessing it uses ten. I should probably try and get some more. At least they knew that you'd be coming back here to get money, so they let you farm here. Rather than going back into the levels. You know what, in some ways this kind of feels like a Wonder Boy game. If it was programmed really badly, obviously. Right, how much have I got now? Nineteen. Let's get one more. Are we going to see another enemy? Does it know I was farming? There's one. There wasn't even anything on it. Oh no. Well, I think I got what I wanted anyway. So, let's try... I think I remember where it was. We've just got to get back onto the world map. And then go to... Here, I think. Unless you're supposed to use the power glove to get rid of the fire in the fairy fountain. But let's try this. First. Let's go and see what Impa says. I think she said something about people being kidnapped. Oh, why? Taken it looks to tower. like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. My cakes will burn. My cakes will burn. Oh no, we're going to watch it again. Let's see another annoying thing about having all the buttons on the same thing. I just wanted to kill the enemy and I triggered the cutscene like three times. It's got three buttons. Use them. Even the TV remote style control, I had three buttons. Oh, can I actually... Oh, no. I got hit already. I, I was about to say, can I actually use the, uh, the long-range sword to take him out? He's a good way of farming a lot of money as well. Because I think that blue one gives you 10. Yeah, 33 now. I presume it's an Octorok. Oh. Right, so that didn't work on the boulder. Maybe you have to use that on that... Um, what was it? Like a suit of armor thing that was fighting somewhere? Can't remember why that was, though. Is it time to consult the strategy guide again? 
well, anyway, either way, I need to go back and farm some more rubies first. I'm really hoping this saves as well, because I'll try and pick this up in the next stream, whenever that will be. Ooh, a green one. So yeah, hopefully it saves, else I'll just end it tonight and never revisit the game ever again. But overall, I don't think it deserves all the hate that it gets. Like, it's clearly not a great game, but it has some interesting things that I think people overlook. And for the CDI, it's, it's one of its better pieces of software for sure. But obviously that's not saying much. Yeah, I guess it could pass for an Amiga game or like some European computer like ST maybe. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. I'm just trying to farm some rubies before I move on. Yes, they're called rubies for some reason, not rupees. How many have I got? Okay, I'll get one more. There we go. Now I'll head back out. Now I don't remember where I was when I fought that suit of armor. Faint praise. I'm trying. I don't want to just write the game off. I want to give it a fair shot. Um... I don't remember where it was. I'm not going back to the swamp. I'm never going back there again. Was it in the forest? Is it here? I think it was at the end of this area. Let's try it anyway. I never want to go back to that swamp again. I'll have that swamp in my nightmares tonight. This makes me want to see whether the CDI could have handled Rayman. I'm guessing no, but maybe a piece of software. It basically is. I can't even call this a game console, really. It wasn't made for games. It was made for interactive CDs. If that even means anything. Ah. Oh my god, I made it all the way without getting hit. Not to even give it that credit. Yeah, just because it's a controller doesn't make it a game. It's just a piece of software. I'm honestly trying to give it a fair chance. I don't hate it, if that's... Uh, any consolation. I don't think it's worthy of the abuse that it gets online. Do I need to talk to her again? Greetings, Princess Zelda. Do you have any Arpagos feathers? No, I don't. Oh, I can't get out that way, can I? Oh, this wasn't the right way anyway. That's the end of the stage. Damn it. And now I have to try and talk to this lady like a hundred times while I try and kill this bat that's next to her. Look at this, this is stupid. I take it back, this isn't good in any sense of the word. Look at this! I'm just mashing the attack button here. I'm not going to be able to hit these bats, I'm just going to have to keep mashing it until they go past me. This is ridiculous. As James Rolfe said, WHAT WERE THEY THINKING?! Ugh. 
Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. No, go away. Oh my god, I made it out there alive. Now I can kill all these bats. They don't even drop anything. What's the point of even having them there? I don't even get out of it. Use the rope. Right. Where am I supposed to go next? Ah, can I make it without getting hit? Oh, I died right at the end. What's the point? Yeah, it's more of a meme. I get it. Come on, just let me get to the end of the level. Oh no, I'm not even facing the right way. Turn around, turn around! Uh, I'm just going to die and go back to the map. I don't even need to be here. Okay. So. Where was he? I'm going back to the, uh, I'm going back to the walkthrough. Sorry. See if we can figure this out. Uh, where is the game? Okay, right. Where do I need to go? What have we done? Convert your glove into the power glove! Yeah, we did that. Exit the swamp by hitting the Triforce symbol. Next destination is the fairy pool. Need to go back to the fairy pool. <coughs> The fairies don't toss fireballs. The pattern. Oh, you know, you do have to dodge the fireballs. The stage is dark, so you'll need to keep using the lantern to keep it lit. Okay, that's where I get the next heart container. And then you have to take the fairy dust back to someone there. And then that moves on to 110. Uh, I guess we've got to go and face those fireballs then. I want to do it in the dark so I don't have to keep using the... Oh no, I forgot to put the game back on. I kind of want to do it without using the lantern. Got to drink Rolling Rock. No, I'm going to make Scardus Mead my thing. That's what I'm drinking tonight. I don't think there's any uh, game controller called the Scardus and Rocker. So, I think I'm a few episodes behind on OVGN. I need to catch up. Uh, turn it off. There we go. Right, I'm ready. Back to the game. Okay, let's go back to the fairy fountain. Or the fairy pool, as it's called in this game. I can just skip through this bit. You know what, I always looked for Rolling Rock, but I don't think they actually make it in the UK. I've never seen it anywhere, anyway. So, I better light a lantern here. And then it said, look for the pattern, because they shoot in... waves? One, two, and then there's a gap. Okay, one, two. I think I've messed it up. <gasps> no, God, how are you supposed to get past there? Don't actually try rolling rock, it tastes like piss water. Lovely. Oh my, I thought I'd been able to just jump past it all there then. I wonder how far I can get by just timing this right. Oh my god, this level design is stupid. Probably do the first one. And then move 
back. And then light it up. There's one of the witches! They're not far away. Huh. Yep. He probably did do that. That's what a lot of actors do. I'll replace it with like apple juice or something. This is the real deal though. I really love mead now. It's probably my favourite drink. Alcoholic drink anyway. Just the, the honey taste is really good. Anyway. Let's come here. One. Two. That's the top one. Oh, the top one, the bottom one's dead already. Yes. No. I guess use the rope. And stab. Yeah, did it. <laughs> I'm kind. Of, these cutscenes are kind of growing on me. In a weird way. Oh my god, look how weirdly realistic those fairies are. That's so weird. They have like human faces. We're free. No, they don't. You saved us. Here's a life heart and some fairy dust. Yeah. Some water of life. <laughs> Did they hire like school kids to animate this? Thank you. Let's see what they have to say now. That's all, man. Okay, they just refill your health. Wow, that's so creepy. Look at their faces. I swear they're just photos. My God. This game. This game. I don't know what I was expecting when I went into it. Wait, what am I... What am I climbing? There's nothing there. I'm climbing the background. What the hell? I didn't even know you could go up there. I just wasted that for nothing. Yes, I'll go full Viking mode. I want to get a horn to drink it out of. Oh my god, guys, we're moving on. Next area. Something like goblin ship, but not. Ooh, cool music. One thing I have to give this game credit for. It's got a pretty cool soundtrack. Turn it up for you. Yeah. I don't know whether the soundtrack fits with the game, but it sounds cool. I don't know what it has to do with anything. Again, I don't know where I can stand or where I'm just going to fall off. I'm guessing I need to wait for a crocodile. Okay, what? I'm still walking on the sand. Sure. Do I need to throw a bomb at that? Let's try it. Oh, let's try it from here. That worked. I don't think I needed to throw the bomb there. But whatever. Now I'm guessing I'll need to go into a crocodile. Not that crocodile then? Do I need to jump over to the other one when it's coming back maybe? Let's try it. Yeah! Yes! Now, when can I jump up? Are we going inside? Yeah, we're going inside. Awesome. Whoa, another banger of a tune. If there's one thing I have to give the game praise for, it's the soundtrack. And these ones actually drop rupees. Yay. Okay, I'm enjoying the game again now. Okay, now I'm not enjoying the game anymore. I 
feels like a, a Castlevania level, like um, in the sunken ship in Rondo of Blood. Except worse, in every way. I was thinking maybe after I played through the Sonic games on stream, I might do the Castlevania games after. The 2D ones, anyway. I never really enjoyed it when they went 3D. I love the 2D Castlevania games. The classic style ones, anyway, not the, not the Metroidvanias as much. I mean, I don't mind them, but... Oh no, I need to find a key. Where's the key? I need to use the power glove somewhere, I think, but I don't know where. Can I go through there? No. Damn it, I just wasted rope then. I can see why people would enjoy the Metroidvania ones. They're definitely a lot easier, because you can level up, for one thing. Yeah, I love the precision of, of the, the originals. I can pretty much memorize the entire of the, the first game on the NES. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Maybe I came here too early. Guide again. See whether I'm in the right place. All it said was I need to use a key. Uh, let's pause it there. Sorry I keep flicking between this, but I don't really have the patience to figure it all out on my own. Uh, why? It sends you somewhere. The Gobian ship is now accessible. However, our next destination will be back in Sakado. Need some rope while you're in the ship, so stock up if you have some rubies. Additionally, one of the further destinations will need at least 10 bombs. If you have the rubies, you should stock up on them. Walk through the town, defeat and blah, 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 into the last building, speak to the woman, and now you have the fairy dust. She will give you the magic cloak. Cause you to become invincible to attacks. Excellent. And then you go to the ship, right? Let's figure out what I need to do when I get there. Tried Rondo of Blood two years ago and got my ass absolutely kicked by that game. Oh dear. It's doable. You just have to kind of keep practicing. And you can also unlock Maria in Rondo of Blood, which makes the game a lot easier. Because she's got a double jump and she's got like a home and attack where she throws birds out and stuff. It's so good. You should try it again. Like, try and practice it. It's a really, really good game. It's probably my favourite Castlevania game. Uh, right, where do I need to go? Head along the bottom path. You'll notice all the drops a bit. Reach the water. The water creature. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Uh, notice a few alligators in the water if you jump onto the alligator that's closest to the bottom. Carefully time it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, done that, done that. Pan here. Time is crucial, so it's like this with Stonefoss. It can be a good place to stack up on rubies. Yeah, I figured that. Uh, jump to the right on the second level and keep heading right. You'll notice a small window or door within the woods. Jump up to it and enter to reach the top of the ship. Keep heading right and climb the steps to get to the top. Walk to the right and you'll notice a small window within the wood. Okay, and that's where you get the feather. Right. 
so I kind of was in the right place. I just hadn't got the feather. Ah, I forgot to put the game back on for you guys. Sorry. I was back playing the game then. One second. I need to sort that back around. Did I just hide something? Did I just unhide something? A moat wall? No? I don't know, I think I just did something. Event list. Okay, that's new. I think I just broke it. It's back now. Event list. No, oh, whatever. I'll just leave it off. We're back to the game. I think there was something weird going on with OBS there. Okay, so. Uh, let's see if we can find out wherever that door was that they were talking about. Somewhere on, on the second level. I thought maybe it was that pipe there. I'm not sure what it means. There's somewhere that looks like a window. Am I going to have to look at the video? Oh, is it that on the top? If so, that's really stupid. Why would you know to go on that? It is. What? You wouldn't know that. Window slash porthole. Whoa, now it looks like Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. And the fact that you've been able to see this pirate ship through the whole game as well, and now you can, like, fall off it and die. Now you can actually climb up it is a really cool idea. But anyway... I gotta go back here first. And I'll turn the music down a little bit for you guys again, because I think I turned it up and it might be a bit too loud now. So let's put that to about there. Let's try that. <clears throat> I might attempt saving this soon and see whether I can call it a night, because I've been streaming for about three hours now. So I have a video I want to work on as well. There is one coming out this Friday. So I want to make sure that I've got that ready for Friday. But anyway, let's stock up on... I can't remember what it asked me to get now. Bombs? Let's see how many rupees I've got. 150, wow. Let's get... 20, 40, 60, 80. Maybe that. One, two, and get some of that as well. Oh, I know where I need to go. I need to go back to that lady where I go through a window at the end of the street. I remember that. Let's go and see her. Uh, I remember where it is. <clears throat> in this house at the end. You beat Elden Wing. Elden Ring. Elden Wing? I've had too much mead. Oh, Congratulations. Good. There. Now you can sneak up and give a monster a good shot before he sees you. Thank you. Cool. 
Cool, now we've got a new cloak. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else to do on this side. Let's try going back through that window again, see whether there's anything over here. So I know there was the fisherman on this side, I had to do something for him, but I forgot what I was supposed to do in here. Let's have a look. It's like a Lost Clay Fighters game. It does have a really weird style. Oh, it's just Impera up here, isn't it? Do you see anything? Yes. Oh my, your father has been captured. It's just the same thing me? all the time. He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Oh no. I thought there was someone else I was supposed to come to and give something, but I guess I've already done everything there. So, I guess now that I've got that new cloak, let's go back to the area that I just came from, which is back through this window. I don't think there was anything else I needed to do. Oh, the lady's gone completely, though. Okay. Let's just carry on. Yeah, I think this game takes more inspiration from the cartoons than than the actual games themselves. I guess because they were an animation company, they wanted to base it more on the car team. Let's see what was in here. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I don't need to go up there anymore. There was a key up there. Yeah, the Triforce is more like some weird crystal ball in this one. Uh, oh yeah, I need to go in the house to go back onto the world map. You know what, people are going to say I'm crazy for this, but I'm actually enjoying this more than Zelda 2. I know, there I said it. It's just a bit easier to figure out where you need to go, and uh, I like the I like the background graphics, and I like this map a lot. Um, anyway, where do I need to go? Onto the ship. I'm guessing I just need to go back to the ship. I've done the ferry pool already. Must have to go back here. Yeah, this music. I am error. Zelda 2 was one of the first games that I ever played as a kid, and uh, I had no idea what to do at all. And with the weird translation like that, that made it even more difficult to understand what was going on. I think I've gone the wrong way there. Last time I came in here, I just kept going to the right. Ah, oh, this music's so good. It doesn't deserve this game, it deserves better. Hmm, how did I get over there last time? Did I go this way? Go down here? Yeah, there you go. And then it doesn't seem like you'd be able to stay on the floor there, but you can. And if you stand back a bit, you can throw a bomb there. From about here. Yeah, there we go. And then time it so you land on... I landed on that, that's not fair. You had a master system in Mega Drive. I started with the NES originally, and then... Uh, SNES and Master System. Or Mega Drive, kind of at the same time. Although I much preferred the SNES because that was kind of my console, and the Master, the Mega Drive was like my dad's cousin's console that he'd given to us. So I felt like, hey, my games are better. I can play Kirby, and that hasn't got Kirby. What's going on? I can't land on it. I'm wasting all these bombs.
N64 is a weird one to start with with Nintendo. That's usually when people left Nintendo to move over to to PlayStation or Sega. Oh, I'm getting really annoyed at this level now. It's not letting me jump on the crocodiles properly. Yeah, I always wanted a, a CDI as well. Um, if M Play is still on here, he sold his system to me about eight years ago now, something like that. Um, and yeah, it's it's not great, but it's definitely an interesting part of gaming history, at least. Yay! Finally, I managed to land on it. Okay, we're getting a bit closer. Got to swap onto that one somehow. Never played or even touched a Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy, I, I love the Virtual Boy. I would love to try and do a video on it, but I don't really think it's possible because there's no way of actually recording the screen. And I don't want to just play an emulator, because anyone can do that. I want to, like, show the games that I've got for it. But it really is something that you just need to play in person to understand how unique it actually is. It does have some genuinely good games for it as well. Not just Wario Land. In fact, there's probably, like, five other games on there that I prefer more than Wario Land. It is a really good system. Red Alarm is a great game. I was actually reading an interview with the developers for that recently in uh, Untold History Volume 2. I've been rereading it on my iPad recently. They were saying how um, how they were getting the 3D effect from the Virtual Boy and having to line the two screens up, uh, you know, side by side for, with each eye, which they found really complicated to, to do at the time. Why am I struggling so much on this? I did it easy last time. Yes, I did it. Okay, we're back. Yeah, I really wish there was a Virtual Boy emulator for 3DS. There's probably an unofficial one. I know someone made one for the Oculus Quest, which I want to try out at some point. I think that'd be a cool way of playing it. On an actual headset, not something that was attached onto a stand, which I always thought was a really weird idea. No, I just wasted a bomb. So. I'm going to die, because they just reach out and grab you. There's a scene in Seinfeld where they play Virtual Boy, that's cool. I bet they didn't really know what it was though. They're like, hey, new game console. I think there's like a movie that has it in the background as well or something. But yeah, if you've got any ideas how I could do a video on the Virtual Boy without actually recording any gameplay, then let me know because I would love to do something. I've got mine sitting up there on the shelf and I've got most of the games for it now. How am I supposed to do that? Okay, you can't climb on there. You really expect me to jump onto that rope with these controls? That's not going to happen. There must be a different way to get up there. Oh! Did I miss it? Almost. Thank God for unlimited continues, eh? This game would be a nightmare without it. I don't know what to do here. The controls are just so bad. Yeah, I keep thinking this reminds me a lot of Donkey Kong Country 2. It looks almost the same. Why can't I turn into a snake? 
that would make it a lot easier. Oh well, at least we get to enjoy this music. What time is it? Only half ten. I've been playing this for over three hours now. I didn't think I would last this long, so that's an achievement on its, in itself. Gotta get onto the other one somehow. That's better. And we can attempt to climb up the uh, pirate ship again. How can you pass the remaining hour at work? That's good. Although you should be working, you shouldn't be watching the stream. No, I'm, I'm guilty of that too, so I get it. What do you do for your job? I always have YouTube open on the side. The joys of working from home. As long as you do what you're expected, you can do whatever else you want. Couldn't get away with that in an office. Although I spent most of the day in the office just writing scripts for my upcoming videos anyway. Work's done for the day, just nice to be able to watch stuff. That's good. Well, thank you for choosing me out of the hundreds of other options. I do appreciate that. I'm only a, a small streamer, as they say, so... I really hope you're enjoying it. As much as you can enjoy, you know, Zelda on the CDI. Yeah, I get it. I'm working... I've got my own office as well. I love it. I'll never go back. I'll never go back to an office now. I'll, if, if I ever get told I have to go back into the office, I'll just quit and find another job. There's so much out there now, there's just no reason. No reason to need an office anymore. Not for me, anyway. I know some people like it, but yeah, no. I like my own space too much. And, uh, I like not having to talk to people all the time as well. Let's try and go up this side. Ah, okay, excellent. I found a little shortcut. No, it didn't really take me far though. I wonder why I can't use that there. I think I can use it here. The key is right there. Can I use the rope on the rope? I don't know how to get up there. Do I have to like jump and then latch onto it somehow? I don't know how to get up there. You only get one working from home day. Oh, I miss being home and get so much done. That's a shame. Did you used to work from home full time and then they tried to get you to go back into the office? They couldn't do that with me because my uh, my job moved up to Edinburgh, so I had no choice but to work but to work from home anyway. And I'm just going to look back on here again, see. Uh, I think there's something else I'm supposed to be doing first, though. Reflecting shield. Okay, climb up the first rope all the way to the wood, then move just to the right and climb a long rope to get to another wood bit. Walk to the left and climb up. Once you reach the top, use one of your own ropes to climb further. Slash at the glowing item to get the feather. Then walk to the right and drop down to get the key. I'm not sure what it means by that. Let's have a look on YouTube. See if anyone was crazy enough to actually upload a video. 
of that area. Maybe not. There's a complete playthrough. That must be somewhere around halfway. Where's the pirate ship? Don't think I've gone that far. Spoilers. There. Okay. Let's see what they do. <clears throat> you can do it 100% from home too. Oh, that's not fair. Try and look for another job. Well, you can, I guess. There's plenty work, uh, you know, just hiring completely remote. I'm sure if you're doing something technical, you could do it somewhere else. Oh, really? Is that all I need to do? Just jump to make the screen scroll a little bit further up. And then I can get the feather and the key. <laughs> I like how they picked them both up and then died straight away. Right. I know what to do now. That's stupid. See, that's why it's good to look at walkthroughs sometimes. Oh, that's good. I mean, if they're looking after you. Although, there's always more money somewhere else. That's what I found out recently. I swapped jobs and basically doubled my income, which is insane. Basically doing the one bit of my main job that I actually wanted to do. So, you know, the option's always there. Once you've been doing something for a while and you, you feel like, you know, you know it well enough to go somewhere else and be... You know, confident at it. Then go for it. Anyway, I'm probably just going to do this bit and then call it a night. Because I've been streaming for, what, three and a half hours? That's insane. I never thought I would last this long playing this game. So it can't be that bad. But I want to try... Damn. Seems like you have to time that really well. Also, I'm recording this on my Mac at the same time and it's screaming at me that I'm nearly out of space. So I'll have to stop soon and transfer the footage over anyway. Getting paid to spend money, that sounds good. I worked in finance for a little bit, but I really didn't like it, so I moved to IT. And then... I'm kind of still doing IT now, but it's more um, architecture, software architecture and stuff. How am I supposed to get that one? Like that. Oh, I can't get over there! Right. One more try. Then I'll just pray that the save feature actually works and we can pick this up next time I stream. But I'm glad to be back off holiday and get back into the swing of streaming and stuff again. I did kind of miss it. I didn't really think I would enjoy it that much, but... I've been really enjoying Twitch. A lot more than I thought I would. Ah, oh, that was probably my chance then. I could have jumped on its back. Yeah, first time. Excellent. Yeah, some people in the in the company that I worked at before said the because uh, there's like an internal cap on the amount of money that you can get by moving roles. They would literally just leave, stay in another job, another random job, whatever. For like six months, just the minimum amount of time, and then come back to the company and then get what they were actually supposed to be paid in the new role that they were going for, which is just ridiculous. Like, why does it work that way? It doesn't make any sense. Why is that the way that things work? If you want to keep someone in the company, 
you should be able to play them properly and not have to be limited by some stupid HR decision that you're only allowed a certain cap, like 10% or whatever. So many stupid business rules that don't make any sense. Anyway, I did it! All I needed to do was complain about businesses. I guess I can just die now. It is kind of scary. It took me a long time to decide to actually go for it. It was worth it, though. Don't be, don't be put off by being scared. And if you're doing something that you know well enough, then you don't need to worry about the interview at all, because you can just talk about what you've already done. That's how I got through it. Because I was specifically applying for... Like SharePoint and Microsoft 365 stuff. So I didn't need to worry about the questions because I already knew the answers anyway. And so, uh, take a lot of examples of stuff that you've done as well. I don't know whether you're actually allowed to or not, but I took some like screenshots of things and they seemed to like that. Anyway, let's stock up on some stuff. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now, actually. What have I just done? I got a feather. Where was I meant to take the feather? Not a fairy pool. You know what, maybe I'll end it here, because I do have some stuff I want to do before work tomorrow, so... I really hope this works. And I've only got 20 gig left on my hard drive. So let's save over game one. And then let's try and load it. See whether that actually does anything. Game one is highlighted. That's a good sign. Uh, maybe it's because I'm already on it. Let's try going somewhere else and then try... I'm not sure how to get that menu up, actually. Maybe you can only do that in the, in the hub. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna risk it. I'm gonna turn the system off now, and then turn it back on and see whether it'll load my save before I end this stream. So let's find out. I'm gonna save it again, just in case. Okay, let's see whether it actually works. Moment of truth. Okay, fingers crossed. Load game. Oh, no, I didn't think it would. That's a shame. Well, there we go, guys. That's probably as far as I'm ever going to get in this game. So, thank you for the three and a half hours that you've watched me play through Zelda Wand of Gamelon. I really hope you enjoyed taking a look at it anyway. I hope it was interesting, just to see how much of a interesting game it is. I won't really say it's a good game, but it's an interesting game. Anyway... I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've really enjoyed coming and doing this tonight. And it's something that I wanted to play for a long time, so I'm really happy Zelda, about that. Duke Onkled is under attack I, by the I better stop it before this cutscene kicks in. So, thanks everyone. See you all again soon. Goodbye.